When you think of Peter Coleman, you think of that voice. And seeing people laughing and smiling, and I mean, it's great. Announcing to the world that they've met not just a bar owner, but the self-styled publican of Tipperary Hill. This is what he did. He, he started here when he was 18 until he was 84, and he was here pretty much every day his whole life. So he really, you know, he put everything he had into this place, into this neighborhood. So uh, it's really something to... Uh, to model yourself after. Like many of his innovations, Peter Coleman's green beer delivery is a bit clouded in mystery. There's evidence at Coleman's that it started in 1963 or 62, maybe even 1960. This is really getting to be big time now, huh? <laughs> and it's probably true that no one ever saw the entire 10,000 gallons of green beer flow into the subterranean tanks or the tanks themselves. But it's the legends that are important like the special entrance for leprechauns and the tribute to the stone throwers who forced the city to keep the green on top traffic light up the block. Peter Coleman expanded the family's one room pub into one of the region's legendary restaurants and he helped to rebuild the Tipperary Hill neighborhood along with it. And he made life fun. You, know, you see that guy just driving around on the golf cart. I remember during the pandemic, he pulled up and I was on my porch. He's like, don't you wish you had a pub to drink at right now? I was like, I sure do. <laughs> I think now more than ever, I mean, you look around, everything's always changing and going good or bad, but you always need that one thing that keeps everyone together, and this place is it. Peter Coleman died last August. His son Dennis runs the place now. He's a little quieter than the old man, but he learned one lesson well. Even if you fail once in a while, you have to take a chance. Cheers. So what's next for the Coleman Empire? Well, who knows? We're not the biggest planners, <laughs> you know, we're more figure outers. So who knows, you know, if something else will come up and we'll, we'll figure it out. There's no question Green Beer Sunday will never be the same without the founder here. No. Then again, I'm not saying it won't be worth your time. He'll be here. He'll be with us. I figure he's got the best seat in the house now, so we gotta, we gotta give him a good show. From Tipperary Hill, I'm Tim Fox, News Channel 9. Cheers. And for the first time in 59 years, Green Beer Sunday has been postponed for a week. It's going to be held on March 6th because of weather concerns.